Welcome to the final video in our series where we're diving into some of the advanced settings that you can manage in the Dynamics 365 customer engagement platform. So today we are going to be focused on the marketing app. So we're talking customer insights journeys. When I spin up my own trial environment of customer insights journeys, you get all of these wonderful model driven apps for free. So here's what you need to know. Number one, your customer insights journeys app circled here in purple is where you are going to manage all of your marketing assets, things like your domains, compliance profiles, all of the tracking information, setting your quiet time, your limits, manage all of your marketing channels, lots of stuff. And we're going to go into a lot of detail in this video, but you do also need to know how to leverage the power platform environment settings model driven app, which is the one in red. That's where you're going to manage your users, your security settings, environment settings, tons of other information. We talked about that in our first video in this series, but as an admin or as a marketer tasked with setting up different things in your environment, these are the two apps you're going to need to know and use. There's a lot of areas inside of the customer insights journeys app settings. So it's the same as a lot of the other first party apps like in sales. We went to the sales settings. You're going to go to the journeys app area settings. And once you're there, there's a lot of things. There's the overview, which holds your general settings for the app, your email marketing, You've got customer engagement, which is more focused on some of the settings and features for the full customer experience. You've got collaboration, which is the team settings, event management, and data management. So we're gonna talk about all of them. We're gonna walk through the things that are included here so that you know what you can control just by managing some settings in this app. So here's overview, this is everything that you have. Number one, your version. I don't know why, but for some reason in my personal experience, this app seems to get a bit out of date with its versioning more than the others, more than sales and customer service. So if you're having a problem or you have a question about something, just pop over to see what version you're currently on. And if it's not the latest, greatest, and something's funky and not working the way you think it should, go ahead and make sure you've updated to the latest version. Other than that, not a lot you can do there. The settings area is kind of your one stop shop of like where you can view all of those configurable settings inside this app. Your quote limits is going to be a really nice dashboard that shows you the different quota levels that you purchased, how much your org has, and all of the reporting on the quotas in general. Add ons. Um, this will not load for me in a trial environment and I don't have a live one, but I have a link here if you're interested in learning more about what the add-ons are. Uh, there's a learn link with very little information that you can check out. And then feature switches. I like this one a lot. There's a ton of features that you can turn on and off. And that's what you're seeing in the screenshot right here. This is just a few of the things. So these are segmentation items, which you can see right here. There's tracking items. Like if you want to turn on UTM tracking, it's just a toggle. By default, it's turned off. You just turn it on. Uh, there's also things about business units, co-pilot, library, data sharing, customer journey, email sending. I mean, there's a ton of stuff inside of here and it's an area that changes often. So you can pop in every now and again and see what's going on. Then we have our specific email marketing information. We can add a new domain or manage our existing domain. We can set designer feature protection. So this is important because it's going to control which users have access to which features in the email content designers. So there's two here, there's HTML. So anyone that is added to this will give them access to use the designer HTML tab. The other one I thought was really interesting to learn a bit more about is litmus. So every org gets some email previews they're pretty cool it shows you exactly what it's going to look like in before you send that email the only caveat here is you only have some free previews of that and then it's an extra license so you might want to control who has access to litmus so you don't run through those free previews too quickly then we get into like a really beefy part of the app, which is customer engagement. 
So customer engagement includes all of these things. And I tried to put them all on the slide if you need a screenshot or you like the words better than diving in here. But there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's start at the top. We've got compliance profiles. So depending on what country you're doing business with, this is really, really important. So this is where you're gonna manage all of the consent details. Then we have our journey settings. So these are like your time zone default for all of the journeys. UTM tracking, if you've gone to that feature switch area and you've turned it on, then you'll be able to use the UTM parameters in your URLs throughout the marketing app. Web tracking, this is simply a JavaScript code that you can copy and paste over to your content developers or the people that manage your website so you can track very important pages and know where people are spending time on your website. Frequency cap really important set the maximum number of messages a customer can get inside of a real-time journey and these are separated by channels so it's email text push and custom quiet time same thing set your times to ensure that there's no messaging being sent during specific times of day or days of week audience configuration sms providers i mean there's a ton of stuff in this area in the interest of time we're going to move on otherwise this video will be too long and nobody will be watching Collaboration, this is the same within all of the first party apps. This is your team's collaboration and chat settings. It's no different than the other ones we've looked at. So we can turn it on or off the ability to link Dynamics records or views with Teams channels, turn on or off Teams chat inside of Dynamics, all kinds of cool stuff. Event management. This one is really simple. It's just got two areas, power pages, websites, and web applications. So if you're using either of those for your event management, this is where you can kind of set things up. And finally, data management. This is for those of you who are also using Customer Insights data. You're gonna manage the connection between the two apps, and then you'll be able to use data points from Customer Insights data in your journeys, in your segmentation, in all of your dynamic content. So that comes in the form of transactional data, behavioral data, and dem demographic data. And that wraps up our deep dive into all of the advanced settings in sales, customer service, and marketing. I'm hopeful that you learned something new and you're excited about some of the things that you can configure just by turning on and off and using some simple configuration for your advanced settings in those first party apps.